Activates compatible. I did already upload this on the Microsoft Activate Showcase, so if you want to see that, go check it out. Learn about classic fairy tales, story dramatization, and cooperative play. And it even came with this note from the seller. Kind of like, yeah, the same seller that I got that copy of Arthur's Best Friends from. Give you a couple seconds to read that. Or you can pause it if you need more time. Christmas Eve 1999, number 61. This is sealed. And the two discs. How did this get in here? This little foam thing. Is it like exposed foam? I don't know. But I sure didn't expect to find that in there. Yeah, it's got the Warner Home Video sticker on there, but it's already kind of torn off, so please excuse me while I try to deal with the rest of it. Okay, <clears throat> I think that's good enough. As you remember, <clears throat> you may know I also have the THX Ultimate Edition DVD of this. And I did already upload the opening to this. If you want to see it, check it out. Ego case. Hmm. 
Knitter Eco Case. I saw this film in the theater when it came out. Another Eco Case. The disc for the film and this is the bonus disc. There's that disc, and there's the other disc, but somehow it's kind of <coughs> loose. There we go. June 3rd, 1992. Now here's a film I never heard of until I found it. August 25th, 1998. August 26, 1999, SU. Uh, August 28th, 2000? Yeah, I think it's August 28th, 2002. OB. Never heard of this film until I found it. Came with this little guide. And 116 day 2000. If you know what the print date is, you let me know in the comments. May 14, 2003, number three. It says WHB on both sides, so this could possibly be recycled from something. Let me see if it is recycled from anything. Give me a moment. Looks like it's recycled from Spawn. I think, yeah, I think that's what it is. be wrong though. September 7, 2003, HN.
has the guide from the limited issue for some reason. Yeah, has the chapter search index from the limited issue. Wonder why that is. This one is from the United Kingdom. And it was sealed when I got it. Never heard of this. I found it. This is interesting. PlayStation DVD. That's interesting. Booklet in there. And this one does not have a print date at all. CHC copy. Also with no print date. I even looked at the vertical blanking interval on this to see if there if it had anything at the vertical blanking interval, but it didn't appear to have anything. This wasn't a squeeze and shake case when I got it, but I took it out of the squeeze and shake. And I haven't checked any of the things that I got last week yet. Couple, well, only a couple of them I checked, but I have not checked this one yet. Seventh week in 1997. Yeah, and the first three tenors tape I also checked. That and Donnie Brasco were the only tapes that I checked so far. As for the things I got last week. Also has one of those little booklets in there. August 5th, 1998, number video labels upside down for some reason. See that? 13th week in 1999. And this one I've also checked already. Well, vertical blanking interval wise. Canadian copy. CBC. April 20, 2001 W.O. And that uh, is a former rental from Rogers Video. I never heard of this film until I found it. So 
Sony Pictures Classics film. Fifteenth week of two thousand four. This one's an import from the United Kingdom. This looks like it from Australia as all region actually same thing with this one Also comes with a growth chart. It's relatively huge. I tell you that much. And this one's sealed. No, I have this, but I just figured I might as well pick up this copy since it's sealed. That's right. I already have this version, but I picked it up anyway because it's a sealed copy. And now for some things I got last Friday. Haven't checked this yet. There are some printings on it there, but no print date. Let's see, I think it says S120KSB91110. This one's sealed, and it originally came from Ross, but I got it at Goodwill. It was originally purchased for $3.99 at Ross. from a company called Slingshot Entertainment, which I've never heard of them. search index and special bonus features okay side A with the feature side B with the supplemental material
I do have some of these other Studio Classics as well. A couple on VHS and a couple on DVD. Like I have All About Eve, Gentleman's Agreement, How Green Was My Valley, and The Day the Earth Stood Still, Ghost and Mrs. Mirror, and Titanic on DVD, on VHS. And I also have the Day the Earth Stood Still on DVD as well. Available July 6th, available August 3rd. Also have the VHS of this film as well. Two and disc one, which has fallen out. It has no case, but yeah, it came that way. It came without a case. I don't see a number on here. But they're printing the 18th week of 2003. I did check this, and two of the episodes on this are compatible with Activates Arthur and DW. I will upload this on archive with audio from Activates Arthur and DW at some point. Now the 
up loans over now.